I'm so nervous. Are you ready? No, I'm so, I'm so starstruck right now. I love Trisha Yearwood and Garth Brooks. Like, this is an absolute dream of mine to meet them. It is beyond bucket list. Seeing them in concert was bucket list. This is above and beyond anything that I've ever imagined, and I'm so excited. I'm so starstruck. I hope I don't embarrass myself interviewing them. Did you just blank out when you were asking my question? I totally, I, I went to go ask him a question, I said my name, and then I totally forgot my question, because I was just starstruck, and I felt like an idiot. But then I remembered later, so that was good. First of all, I'm just going to start asking you questions. I am so starstruck. I'm like the hugest fan ever. I am such okay. a huge fan. Yes, that's okay. So why are you a huge fan? I just, I love your music. I love everything about it. Anything in particular? Um... Standing outside the fire was like my anthem when really? I turned 30 and I like changed careers. I like would listen to it all the time and I felt like you were like with me, helping me do it. So, <laughs> this, is so this is great. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Okay, now I'm okay. down a little bit. Right. Okay, so that was actually going to be one of my questions. Um, knowing that so many people, like, I mean, absolutely adore your music, that a lot of the songs have helped people through like really hard times in their life. Um, what does that feel like, first of all? Well, very sweet. First of all, know that I'm just like you. So I have songs that I know that's helped me through my life. So if anybody says anything that has anything to do with our music, it's helped me through their life, that's the greatest compliment you can get. So I uh, just feel lucky about that. And, uh, you know, people say, you, know, you go to the grocery store, and if somebody stops you, all they want to do is just say, hey, look, you know, the, you're where you were my husband and I's first song at her wedding or my husband saying this to me at the wedding, or, you know, we lost my mom, we played the dance at her funeral, that kind of stuff. If you ain't time for those stories. I mean, those are the greatest stories on the planet. So that's, it's very sweet that people allow you into their lives and let you kind of get to be some of the fabric that's in their life. That's very sweet, but it's never hard. It's the music, so that's what I love about. Um, the energy that you have to have to do this. This is your second year yes. on the tour. Um, you're doing four shows in Fresno in three days. Where does the energy come from? It comes from you guys, trust me. The, just the crowd. So it's, I'll feed off them. You'll see. People always get it about halfway through the show. You can start to see their faces, start to realize, oh, wait a minute. He's not doing anything. We're doing all the work. And that's when it gets fun. So uh, the quicker that I can turn this from a concert to a party, the quicker that happens, then the more fun we're going to have. Okay, because I'm going to the late show on Saturday. So oh, I want to make ready. sure that there's still some energy late left show, after. Well, late show people come a little more um, hydrated, shall we say? A little more hydrated, a little more uh, you know, flexible, and it's uh, it gets crazy. But, you know, the thing is, that late show, I love the late show crowds because if you're at the late show, you got to be a fan. Because that thing ain't going to start till 10.30 or 11 as they're getting the other show out. And you're going to be rolling at 1, 2 in the morning, and these people just stay tough. I, I think they'd be kind of steal my heart that way. Um, one more thing. The love that you have for your wife yes, is unbelievable. You call her Miss Yearwood. Sure, you, I've queen. heard you call yourself the queen. Yes. You, I've heard you call yourself Mr. Yearwood. Miss, that's what they call me at the farm, okay. yeah, unfortunately. Were, were, you, were you raised like this? How did this come oh, no, about? No, no. I remember when we met, we met... Uh, before you were born, no, we met <laughs> um, 88 maybe, and so uh, you know we, we started the first the first tour we ever had that needed an opening act was her. The first time she was ever an opening act for a tour was us. So we've kind of been raised together until we were married to other people. So she was always Miss Sherwood, and so when all of a sudden you find yourself dating, you can't stop that habit that you've had for 20 years of calling her Miss Sherwood, and uh, so she it makes her uncomfortable. But. Uh, <laughs> Do it. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just love her. She's a, she's a good egg. Anybody that likes her, if you meet her, you'll love her. And uh, she's just that way. She's, she's what she sees the real deal inside now. That's nice. Awesome. Um, what can fans look forward to this weekend? I just think a lot of fun. And uh, like the very first guy that jumped up, Greg, he said some of the best memories of his life. That's what you want. You want these people leaving this building, looking at that ticket and going, you know what? If this cat comes back. I'll be right here. That's what you want. Pleasure. Okay, don't take this the wrong way. You are gorgeous on TV, but you are drop dead in person. I'm not. I'm not exaggerating. I'm just gonna hug you now. <laughs> Please don't take it the wrong way, because I hate when people like come no, up sometimes and they say the other way. Though, right? Right? Yeah, you're like, like, oh, you're great on TV. TV. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, you are drop dead. Thank you. You're so nice. I, I slept on the plane. and I'm wearing my glasses, and I'm. I, I, I told him. Still I'm like, I don't even want to get the garments. I don't feel like I'm even dressed right. Oh my god, you look gorgeous. Um. Okay. So your.
your cooking show, your book, and this three-year world tour. How are you doing it all? Seriously, a lot of coffee. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I, um, I'm pretty laid back. Garth is Mr. Energizer Bunny, but I'm the kind of like sleep in, have your coffee, read a book, start your day slowly. That's not who this guy is. So, I when this when this talk of this, I said yeah, let's go back out on tour, but I had no idea it was going to be at this pace and for this long. But I really am enjoying it. The first few months, I had to get in shape for it. I was like, I don't know how to do it. It was a lot. Um, and then I thought, well, I can't do my cooking show because we're on tour. But we figured it out. You know, we just um, we just find a way. You know, I'm I'm gearing up for a new season, and we'll shoot in October in between weekends. So that I'll be a little tired when that season's over, but um, but we make it work. Have you always like been good at cooking, or how, where, how did that come about? Not really. You know, I was a late bloomer. My mom was an amazing cook, and so was my dad. And so she had a meal on the table every night at six. And I was I really started cooking in my early twenties. I moved to Nashville, and I had an apartment, and I missed home. And I was you know the food was terrible. Out of you know, out of, you know vegetables out of a can because I grew up on a farm. We had our own. We you know, raised our own beef, and we had our own garden and everything. And so I, I just remember calling home and asking my mom to show me how to make, tell me how to make one thing of hers that would be like comfort food and that I could do. And it was easy. And I think I cried. I know I did because it was like it tastes like hers, and it's you know. And that was when I thought I can do this. And then I started cooking, and I just fell in love with it. It's relaxing for me. I love to do it. Um, never dreamed I would have a cooking show. I was, I was, um, I, I volunteered to do a cookbook with my mom and my sister, and it was fun. Never dream to lead to three books and a show. So I'm the first one to say, I, I know what I know. It's not everything. I'm not a chef. I'm a home cook like my mom. But my mom was really smart, and she and she thought simple was best. She used few ingredients, real ingredients, and um, and it's not hard. And so I, I, I'm thinking hopefully people are, most people cook like I do. So hopefully they are going, I can do this. If, they, if they're intimidated by cooking, it's not that hard. Or I wouldn't do it. I watch a lot of cooking shows, and yours is fantastic. I love yours. Thank you. We also, we make a really good mistake on my show. Because <laughs> we also, I, when I first started watching those shows, they're so perfect. And they're behind the camera, they're behind the counter, and, and I'm like, I don't want to be behind the counter by myself, first of all. I'm more fun with somebody to interact with. And if I drop an egg on the floor, let's show us dropping the egg on the floor. It's okay. And I think people do respond to that, because it's like, that's their life. That's how most people are. That's brilliant. One more question. Um, so Garth treats you with such respect. I know a lot of women are, you know, watch you and say, how do I get that? How do I get a man to treat me like that? Any I advice? Mean, it's in the man, you know, it, it comes with the man. I, you know, I knew Gar's parents and, and all of, all of there's, there's, there's five boys, all of those boys and, and Gar's dad, that's just the way they were raised, you know? And so I, I told him I, when I'd be in Oklahoma and I was there, if, it, if some, I didn't even, I never opened a door and, and, and I'm a very independent woman. It's not that I can't open the door, but it sure is nice to have somebody that's just really such a gentleman. And I told him, I said, I'm going to go to Nashville on, by myself, and I'm not going to know how to get out of the car. You know, it's like, so I think it's really the way you're raised, and I, I, um, I think that um, it's it's not just about like taking care of your woman. That's not what it is. It, it is about respect, and it's a, it's a it's a mutual thing. Um, we have great respect for each other, and I think that's a big part of the foundation of the relationship is friendship and respect. Okay, that's all I have for you. Can I get a picture? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, uh, thank you. I so enjoyed it. Have, are you going to show? Um, yeah, tomorrow night the late show. Okay, cool. We'll go take a nap. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you.